All right, so I thought I'd share jumping with you because really it took me a long time to figure out jump. A couple, three hours. There is no documentation on jumping, by the way, on anywhere on the internet that I could find. So, you know, I'm pretty much on my own on this. And I think um, it has a lot to do with Python scripting, too, because uh, tearing apart a couple pre made games, trying to figure out how they did it, didn't yield too many results mainly because it's in the Python script. So, I guess that's my next journey is figure out a little bit of Python. Other than that, here's a little hop I did, and this is totally not happy with the whole hop thing, but it did it did work. So I was able to get him to jump up and then back down. And that was easy because that's just a little animation. But what I really wanted to do was something like this jump where he lunges forward. Now the only bad thing about that is he's breaking the Z axes. So what would happen here, he would lunge forward all right, but then he would get sucked backwards. So let me just kind of show you what that kind of looked like. I'm going to switch out this jump to jump instead of jump three, and then go ahead and play it. Okay, so he'd walk around, yep, yep, mm-hmm. Then he'd jump, and then he'd get stuck because he couldn't break that Z axis. And no matter where you put his priorities, he still couldn't do that. It did end up in like, like a, almost a cool shoulder shove maneuver. I guess that would be kind of a cool defensive thing if I had him opening his mouth. So maybe the animation's not totally lost. But, other than that, what I had to do is develop a nice little hop. It's kind of a prancy little hop, too. So, the main thing I wanted to show you with this video is not how to do that, because, you know, I would feel... I would feel kind of bad showing you how to do that because I don't think I've even got it down pat. But what I wanted to show you is this. These are put in a priority that, you know, like the idle is set to a 12. So that's the lowest on the totem pole for the priority. Uh, the walk, it's set to a 10. Okay. The attack is set to a 2 and the jump is set to an 8. Okay, so attack should take precedence over everything. Now what I found out is um, there was a video that I did just two videos back that where I'm walking around and I could walk and then slash at the same time. And this quickly went away after I was playing around with it and I was, couldn't figure out why. Until I started messing around with the order of operations here. Now I know Blender's a big order of operations dealio, especially with uh, materials and texture, but I did not know for animation too. So idle right here is at the top. If I put idle just below it and then play the video, I can now walk around and slash at the same time. So if you get hung up on some kind of animation within Blender, make sure you play around with the logic. What order are these in? It doesn't matter if the priorities are set the correct way. Sometimes just by switching these around, you're going to get a lot better results. And so that's it. So I'm going to cut this series off right here. And until I get some Python behind me, and that's going to be a whole different animal altogether. All right. So enjoy the new series and have a good one. Again, my name is Jason Welsh. And until next series.